I, I did a little bit of television and as you know I've done a bit of spoken word and because of that there's a lot of youth that sometimes do look up to me and this is why I'm behind projects like Islamic Network and I know the amazing uh, work and I see the impact because I've overheard these conversations myself like the brothers mentioning where when you have two kids they'll be talking amongst themselves and they'll be like ah oh, bro do you eat bacon like oh, my parents don't know but I'll eat bacon yeah but just not at home uh, are you Muslim? Are oh, my parents are Muslim? We never expected to hear these answers. And now the kids, the questions that they ask, sad reality is, and I've seen this myself, and this is why I'm behind the organization that I work with and I support organizations like Islamic Network, is that sadly the people that sit on our pulpits and sit on our members, they're not even equipped to deal with some of the issues that we face today. And I'm not talking about gang violence and I'm not talking about you know, just rough kids, because the same in Birmingham, it's the same in the UK, same in Scotland, but it's this new doubts about Islam. So many hurdles that we have to come across as a community, and sadly, I don't think that we've been, we're very reactive in the way that we work. We'll only address a problem once it's hit us in the face and we're fallen flat on the floor. And I think now is the time, if you don't pull our socks up now, we're already in a situation when we're down on our knees, and if we don't do something about it, we're going to be flat on our stomachs and everyone's going to walk all over us. You can count on one hand, bro, how many mosques have youth activities. And there's a massive mm -hmm. shortfall. And even with the youth activity, it can't just be like a, a lecture by somebody that the masjid feels like, oh, he's an inspiration to the youth. There needs to be engagement. Not hearing laughter in a masjid is a telltale sign that we're doing something wrong. And if there's an organization that's willing to actually support masjid to help them you know, fill in these little nuts and crannies like yourselves, then I don't understand how we can't actually commit to it. Even if somebody was to give a minimum of 30 quid, what is 30 quid in this day and age, bro? Like two of us guys could go out to eat and we'll spend more than 30 pounds. But that 30 quid could go towards the tarbi of somebody. That one little inkling, that little tap on the back that they need to actually go into the right direction.